Welcome back to our everyday living. Thought I'd better get to and unload this. I'm taking a break from work. Pugger it. I think I deserve it. I think you should all agree with that. So what we got for last night was pretty good. I've been looking for another fridge slide. I uh, wasn't actually looking for this, but we have been looking on the cards, maybe, maybe. I won't let the cat out of the bag yet, but we may have been looking at other things like an RV caravan, upgrading the one we've got. Oh, I'm just going to slip that down there. Um, more because ours is getting a bit long in the tooth, you could say, like it's a 2006. So we've been looking... Not if we haven't got the cash. We got the cash, we just don't like splurting it. Or telling everyone that we have it. It's a better way of saying it. We got it, but we ain't got it, if you know what I'm saying. So the job is handy where we are here. Well, it does make it easy. I can. Here we go. This is the story about this place many years ago. My parents used to caretake here as well, and that's how we lumbered the job, because they came to us. We didn't apply for the job. Um, so basically, we know what goes on here. We know all the piping and that sort of thing, how it all runs and all that sort of stuff. Um, but just lately, they've been a bit picky in how things are run. They think I'm not doing enough work. I reckon I bend over backwards for them. But anyway, I'm taking the morning off to unload this. So, because I need to unload it, I did go to the service station and pump the tyres up. Um, the other fella that was there at that other dumpster, yeah, he got a lot of good stuff. Two solar panels, air compressor. Oh, <laughs> I wish I'd got there sooner. But anyway, not always the case. Now, this fridge door, let's get on to unloading this. This fridge door, I'm going to take that apart because that's got a bit of aluminium on that. Then we'll dispose of the casings and whatnot. So, we'll put that up here. Anything yeah, like that, well, I have cleaned up a fair bit, as you can probably notice. I only got one washer there, that washing machine there, she's a no good job. I found a, oh, about $7 with a loose change in it, and the change has gone through the drum itself, so she's a no good job. Um, still waiting on parts for the other one. So, it's coming from overseas. Don't look like a bad little fridge, this was. Bit of alloy in there, bit of alloy there, bit of steel there, that can go here straight away. I might be able to recycle that one. Down there. Scrap dealer here, locally, doesn't pay for the fridge. So I might be able to get all this, cut all this off the back and whatnot, get all the copper out and just take the cake casing, get all the aluminium out as well. Uh, we'll deal with that. It's going to be a job and a half for me. Got to keep on top of the stuff here. Try and keep it tidy for them. That way I get no complaints. There was one complaint going back over 12 months ago. They said they something about me scrapping or something. Doing too much scrapping, not enough work around here. So that's what it would all come down to. So today, being a windy day, can't do no spraying, can't do nothing else. I've caught up on all the mowing and whippersnipping, so I'm taking the morning off stuff. <laughs> I've got to get all the, all the copper and brass out of that. Yep. Put that here. Down there. Better check to see if these washers work too. I like it when there's bugger all here. You know, what I mean by bugger all, bugger all to do. You know, I've still got the wire stripper to fix up. I've still got the um, copper extractor to bloody fix up. I think it's too abrupt because of the axe head. It's too sharp like this, you could say. Um, so I'm looking at probably modifying it. Don't you blow away bad, I need you for the cans. 
Now, just talking about cans, I did pick up another bag off camera. Coming home, I called into a, a mate's place of mine and he said he's got some cans there, so I grabbed a bag. Grab that, we'll have a look at this thing. This looks interesting. Oh, I think it's the scale on the side of the RV or a trailer. Bring it up to the bench. I have a squeezy. We'll unload first. Put that stuff there. Now I've got to put all the brake drums in our IBC around the side. All the metal here. I've got to check to see if that is stainless. We said it was. We didn't check to see if it was. No, she's a metal, but it has got aluminium in the gut right there so we will take that apart I'll do that later put it down amongst that pile we've got through all the circuit boards and stuff there's a screw on the ground put that there that can go in this one I like to sort it as I go and stack it I'm more the organized sort of person try to be organized to be neat and tidy too. Right, um, that can go straight in there, that's rubbish, rubbish for me, too much pulling apart for those, although we could probably fix that, could we? Could we put that on top of that? Could we? No, it's a different shaft, totally different shaft. Yeah, lost the other one anyway, it's in there. Ah, that can come out of there. Straight into there, have bits of wire. That looks like aluminium to me. Hard to say, no it's not. Nice chunk of wire there. Sometimes you forget what you pick up. Get this fridge slide out of the road. That's a $120 item, I reckon. Oh, got some weight in it. Your bag, we need you straight away. I tell you what, it's handy not have to sort these out. No, just throw them in the one bag. I've got one bag already full. So. We'll be able to do a can video shoot very soon. Yes, it's a shame I can't go to the honey hole. It's a fair old drive from where I am anyway. About a 45 minute drive. So it's a fair old distance drive. Like me not doing the honey hole and all the other cans and stuff like that I'm actually saving money. Like I was using nearly a tank of juice in a day. I'm going to sit that down. I need a container for that. Where's one of those? Where's one of those? That'll do. That'll do. We've got no other containers around. Now, milk crates are all used. Oh no. I've got another milk crate up here. Been sorting stuff out this morning as well. But bugger it, I'm going to do something for myself today. Why not do a bit of catch-up work? I can get it there, turn that over. Grab those, chuck them in there. Put that in there. Bit of oil. Needs cleaning. Mm, yeah, put that down there. Put a wire. In there. That can go there. These heavy things. Get over there.
40 beaver. Pulling machines apart. Ready for that. That's our way. That one I didn't know whether it was a 10 cent last night. It was dark as this. 10 cents. Well, not long after I turn the video off, to drive away. Oh, there's a bottle. You just never know what you can pick up at handy. That one's got water in it. Sit there, boy. This is where we threw all that other stuff, isn't it? Alright, we're going to have to leave that in there. We want to get those washers off too. That's got fluid in it. Down here. I reckon we done alright last night. All the bottles. Be interesting to know how much we actually have got. Bit more wire there. That's a bit of steel. That's oh, cast. Yes, that's be cast. The old sinker up there. Um, undo that one. Leave it sitting there. Water in it. There's a cam way down there. I don't want to get too much grease and stuff on me. All right, we need another bin for that stuff. Oh, we'll just chuck it in there for now. Alright, what have we got on this side? Yeah, they can come out. Nice bit of ridge capping. For a shed. I'll sit that in there. Stay there. Up there. A bit more alloy there. That one looks to be clean. That's clean. It's clean enough for me anyway. Clean enough for me, it's clean enough for them. That can go as extruded. I think that's aluminium. It's got some rivets in it though. Staples. She's alloy. She's an alloy. I'm gonna clean that up and get the staples out of that. All over. The wind's blowing it over anyway. Those two pieces. I can go there. Over there. Over there. Stainless steel and brass. Couple of bottles. That one's got some water in it. Taking that glass was off of last night was handy. I didn't have to bring it home. Nice and clean. That piece is clean. Yep. Clean enough. No metal in it. That's got tiles on it. Probably cleaned up. Don't dock me for it otherwise. Meaning they'll take money off me. 
that's got to be pulled apart, that's got screws in it. I might get around to doing this today. That's got stuff in it. Yeah, it's got to come apart. Oh, is that all free from the washer? Looks like it. What a heavy old beast this. Might be just scrap. We don't know. Do what we usually do. Oh, we've got cans in here too, haven't we? Hell yeah. Oh, we'll get them down. Get it down first. Get it down. Get it down. Dash them everywhere I do. Especially when you've got to load as much as what I have. Right, she's an old jigger this one. That's a little bit of weight off already. She's taking that thing off. That one's good to go. Stick is elsewhere. That one's got a... Yeah, he might pass. Put him through. Put the sticker on it. Fluid there. What have we got here? Oh, we didn't want that, but anyway, we got it. Don't want it, but we got it. Been up here. Hey! <laughs> that was a good shot. Just don't get me playing basketball. I wouldn't win. Can't jump for crap. Yeah, I've got to do that one. I'm looking to see if the label's covered or stuff like that. That's got to be done. These have got a lot of water in them. Nearly 90% of them. That's got to have the label removed. See how it's got a check thing out. They're not full. How about we just do this? That's good. Sit that in there so it don't blow away. Gotta be checked over. Oh, damn stickers, you know. Wish they'd put them off the barcode, make them life easy. Don't look like Panther to me. Been opened. That's that barcode one. Take him up, see if he works. See if it powers up anyway. Yeah, she's an old jigger. Which cord? Oh, bloody cords. There we go. Alright. Well, if it doesn't power up, we've got the motor. Bit of alloy there. Then we'll just strip it right down. Because they don't take, where I go, they don't take a whole wash machine and pay you for it. Bit stupid, but I've noticed that. They don't pay you for a whole wash machine. Even if it's a top load like this, there's just too much plastic in them. And that's why I pull them apart. They don't work. It's the end of the life cycle for, for them for here. This is where they go. Uh, you've got to test it first. Well, I do anyway. I test them all out. They don't work. It's dead. It's out the door. Right, I think we only need to go cold. Has it got a spin cycle? It has. Jesus. That sounded funny. Oh, Jesus. That shouldn't do that, should it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. There's these old jiggers. 
Oh, that must go the other way. That'd go that way, wouldn't it? Think? No, that way. Yeah, that way. That'd go that way. Yeah. All right, we'll let it run. Sounds very rattly. I'll probably have to plug water in it, and put the drain through. It's doing a spin cycle. I might get 50 bucks for it, been an old jigger like that. But it, no, it all depends on whether it works. $50 is better than putting it in the scrap, I'll probably only get oh, five bucks worth of scrap out of it, if that. Same as this whole thing. Seen better days. You know, been out in the dust and sun. Come here. Doesn't want to come off. Went up there easy enough. Looks like something's been leaking here. Bit of water there. Bit of water stain, what have we got inside that? Sounds rattly, something's in the drum. It might begin a new life. Spin it around. Doesn't sound too bad, that one. Doesn't sound too bad at all. Let it do what it needs to do. Same as this one, get it caught off from underneath. It doesn't hurt the pumps at all either. No. Ooh, there's water there. Put that down over that way. Just in case she kicks it, gives it a bit more of a pump out. Power up there. No water required to plug in regular. Put it around on a spin. Go there, gonna power up. Don't know. I can hear the pump. She's a pumping. Give it another click. I can hear something going on down the bottom. I can barely see inside there. Anyway, we'll get going on the rest over here and we'll let them run. Don't think I need the trolley at the moment. Still got a fair bit of weight in there. I thought I had nine. What is that? Yeah, six. No. We got three, six, seven, eight, nine. I had 12 of them. No wonder the poor old little jumbark. I thought I only had nine. Geez, that'd be over half a ton. Poor little thing. <laughs> Struth light. Add my fat ass up here. No. Here's another hundred kilos or more, probably. That can go over in the... Where's that go? That goes over in the... I've got to think where that goes. Oh, over here. That goes into there. The old sink can go over its stainless. Oh, I've got to pull all that stuff off yet. I'll sit it there. It's a nice little sink, really. What's it doing? It's not spinning. So the motor might be cactus. It's pumping, but not spinning. I wonder if there's a belt driven one, this one. How about we have a gander? I'm curious while it's running. While it's running, we'll have a gander. Take the back off it. Clicky click, it just clicked off. Did it? No?
see them down there. Oh, I've got one more. No, she's a direct drive. No, she's not a direct drive. Motor driven. We've got a part down here that must have fell off it. That'd be for the drum. Okay. Pump's definitely pumping, but motor not turning. Well, could be the motor capacitor not making it turn. Uh, I'm not going. Yeah, the motor's trying to start, so it could be the motor capacitor. I'll change that and because it'll be up the top here, and we'll go on, go have a look at that. Might be an easy fix. Gloves, bow, gloves. Not handling these dirty old things without the gloves. Ooh, very greasy these things are. But that's still got a fair bit of weight there. Right, so we know what we can do with that one. Put another motor suppressor in it. Capacitor or whatever you call them. Done many of them. I think they're a capacitor. Stores them stores energy. The other one seemed to work alright, spun up and whatnot. Oh yeah. Throw that into there. That stuff over there, we're gonna reorganize this because we want to get the brake pads off. down there. I'm going to leave the brake drums on here because they've got to go over there and I'm not lifting them twice. Not that I don't need to. No. Going to have to lift this one off here anyway to get all that crap out of there. Ooh, thunder. It might rain. I better pull my finger out. Right. Over there. Put an apron on so I wouldn't get grotty. Someone's complaining about my clothes coming out greasy. So I put the old apron on. Weld an apron. Put it all the way Whenever I do another do another scrap run, that one's not coming back with me. Stay in there. I'm gonna go and get our magnet. Our big magnet. Pick all these rollers up. Look at the grease. Don't, don't mind the old leather gloves, you can rub it into those. Keeps them nice and good. Grab the lower part. Because we grabbed the higher part when we've got new gloves on. Comfort there. Oh. 
last two. Right, we've got brake pads there. Quick way to fill it up. Quick way to make a load too. Right, gotta to pull that thing apart. Maybe not. I'm not gonna worry about pulling those things apart. There, there have got to be a spring in the bloody thing. I'm always afraid that they're gonna pop apart into me face, so. I think I'd done away with the last lot too. Yeah, they see they got still spinning spring in this in this in it as well, so and a pin. Over there, missed. Yuck. Is that one a wash off? Take this off over to this one. Give me another four weeks. I'll probably have another load. What rate we're going. Another load to the scrapyard. I can stay with that. An old bunny seat. Down there. It's only a plastic one. One for camping, that one. That old bunny seat. That's a bit of wire. Nice bit of wire that. Didn't get it in there after all. Plug ends. You know, I don't keep them. The old plug ends. Chop the wire off. Done. Dealt with. I don't worry about going through and pulling all that brass out. Nah, not me. Different story when it comes to these. These here. They're easy to do. No wire in them. Probably weighs 250 kilos just sitting there like that. That's a guess. With what I already had in there, probably close to it anyway. And 250 kilos, 24 cents a kilo. About 250 bucks or something like that. Pretty close. Just rough guessing. 
I'll pop my head. Rough math. That's about that. Pretty close. What have we got here? That's cast alloy. Not cast alloy, cast steel. Take the spring out of there. I can go with these. Oh, come on. Give it the stretch. Not they can go here. And that's it for here. Finish at the back out here. Move around the side. I'm not lifting them. Hell no. Better get this bag of cans out. It's a bag I had to pick up. Oh yeah, I could have went further back. I can go in this. Should be ready to rock and roll straight into that. Bag her all up. Get in there. That's the way to pick them up, really. Oh, we don't use those. That can go back in that bag. We don't take those. We don't take those. This one here, 10 cent refund, that one's a no, that one's a no, I only wish they did, you know, that one's a yes, that one not sure on, yeah, okay, well it's not too bad. That's not too bad. What have we got? A quarter of a bag there, plus what we've got there. I can go there. I can't put those through recycle, they won't take it. So let's get to unload these. I've already got a IMC pod started. I thought well, instead of them being over there, um, stuck in a corner, I need them down here so I can get at them. I struggled to get them here. I loaded them up over there and then I had to struggle to get them down here. That was this morning, and I thought, no, I'll get it down here. Much easier for me to get the front end loader in here and pull them out instead of using the old trolley jack here. So, having nine, no, 12, isn't it? Yeah, we've got 12. I don't know how I'm going to fit them in here. May have to take that off there and stack another one on top of that. Put that over on top of those. They're all front ones. So I can put one there, one there. And then I may be able to put another one, put one of those front ones inside like I've got here. I think that's the go, because that way it tops it all off and all of our little pieces can go in the holes. We better do that. Get it started, I suppose. Now I had to lift them off the ground. It's another reason why I put the old apron on this morning. She was a bit heavy putting them in. Go there. Not lifting them off the ground here. Straight in. Not busting me pooper. Got to save the old pooper. Save the back. Well. Well, well, well. That just buggered my day. Now I've got to get in there. Should fit. I hope it fits. I didn't try this. Uh, gonna wander around on me. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Get up on top of it. Come on, you've got to go in there. You've got nowhere else to go. That'll do. We got it. Right, hop out. We'll get them all level first. Oh, I'll put one over there. Let 
we can top it off. I've probably got about 1500 kilos here with this stuff. That's what I've just brought home. So I've got last week's stuff here too. gonna get easier Doing that, we're going to create another hole down here, so that'll be great. We might have enough room. Might be best, before I get too carried away, trying to get down in there. I'm not struggling. Pull these two out. I reckon that's the go. Pull two out of here, because that's all I need to pull out. And they're done. What are we going to get? Probably one, two, three, four. Four, we'll have one, two, three, four, five left. Yep, they'll all fit. That's a load for that already. Damn. I don't stack them in here. I don't think that fit. So all I'll do is pour it out so I can get my IBC pod back. Buggy you <laughs> didn't want that, but we got it and went next door. It wanted a new home. Um, yeah, we'll pull another one out. I reckon that's probably an easier way. Pull another one out and start putting them down here. Oh, Struth, don't bend over like that. Do your back in, son. That's better. Because we can stack that down that side. Whew. Whew. Bugger. How many is high? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I think we're going to take that one out as well. We're going to have to. We're not going to fit them otherwise. There's one on there. Yeah. We're going to take that bottom one out. Oh, down we go. Down we go. Rearranging. Always rearranging your scrap. Scrap's got to fit for me. Lighter. Not much. It's in there. It's certainly in there. Oh, 
I move it around a fair bit these. There we go. Bit of OCD in myself. I like to stack it nicely. I think everyone's got a bit of OCD in them. They just sometimes don't realise it until you think, well, am I doing it too much? You gotta have things a certain way. If it's not going a certain way, uh, it doesn't work. Yep, that worked him well. One there, one there, and then these on top. We're gonna dig that other one out too. Whew. That's a that load. It's a load on its own, that. Oh, white Udall test out on that. What's a trailer way? Semi trailer way. Then you had these in there. You're looking at probably 20 ton just with the trailer. It's unreal what some of them weigh. There. Yeah, we're going to have space. Put that one down there. Get that one out and roll it over. down there we can still fit more in here that down there all right get over here get this other one get it out of our past aluminium That's there. Sweet. Now I'm going to get out of this one. Well, one more piece. And we're done here. We are done. That's certainly a load on its own. I don't think the poor little jumbo could handle that. Well, she was already flat nosed on the. What do I mean by flat nose? She was flat nosing in the air like this coming home. All over the goddamn road, even though I pumped the tyres up. But anyway, if you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one, everyone, um, I'll tell you what, I'm buggered after unloading those. Didn't leave much room down the side there, look at that. But anyway, we're in the midst of one bin full of wire. Got another one started over here. Got a microwave there we've got to pull apart. Looks like it's been overheated. Um, so yeah, we started another bin. Uh, moved our stainless from here over to there. All of our stainless is over there now. Just grabbed another drum, turned it upside down for a table. Still got our copper pipe here though. So, still got to get around to fixing the wire stripper. And like I was saying, um, I want to take the abruptness off this and make it a little bit longer. It only needs to be probably about an inch longer. But anyway, let's get down to having a look at this thing. Finished all that stuff. Brand new in the box. How about we just cut the box open? I did have a knife here. Must have put it away. I have put it away. Oh, yeah, that's the easy way of undoing things. Oh, we've got fixtures. Bits and pieces. Need the knife back for that. Oh, okay, that is definitely brand new. We might hang on to this thing. Instructions. Big handle. Yeah, okay. We won't stand it up and fall over. Get the Stanley the knife back. Oh, box cutter. Oh, added extras. That must clamp onto that with the pin. Yeah, the pin's there. 
So that's a oh this oh this is actually better than the trailer mate jack that I've got it for uh, when I've got it on the trailer. This is be ideal for that. One each side. Have one so it's hydraulic. What have we got in this one? This might be the other pieces that go with it. Like a foot for here or something like that. I reckon I'm right. Maybe not. It is. It is a foot for there. What's falling down over there? Things are starting to settle because I'm not there. That's so you can put that onto that, I'd reckon. I don't know. Let's have a gander. Pull that out of there. I'm not reading no instructions. I'm not an instruction person. Don't know. I don't bloody know. I don't think so. I might have to read the instructions. No, that's not for that. Time to read the instructions, everyone. I'll be back with you. Well, it looks like it's a mounting bracket. That's what it looks like. It's so it can go inside here, that way up. Then you put the pin through there so it can't slide out. Well, it does still slide out anyway, but it's all there. Nothing wrong with it. You put the pin through like that, then that's on your device. Say you've got it on, say it's on like that. Um, then you've got the jack, this mounted to the jack. Then this goes into here and it pulls it up. Hey, that's not a dumb idea. Why didn't I think of that idea? I could have made something like that, maybe. Don't, don't get me wrong, but I reckon I could have made something. But anyway, I didn't think of that idea. It's probably painting to someone else, more than likely. Easy concept though, I'll tell you what. Good when you start reading instructions and put the old four eyes on, you know. I don't carry them with me all the time, but it's always best to read. And you've got a greasing point here. Uh, you've got to take the cap off now and then and give it an oil. I don't mind that, you know. Would have been nice to get all the other stuff, like the solar panels and stuff like that, um, from that other dumpster. But I reckon I was just a bit late. So anyway, that's that one, everyone. Um, got a bit to do here. Uh, sort out these bottles, get all the labels right, get the wire all done blow through all of this June was going to try and come down and do these monitors and do the power supplies and all this over here today but we don't know what's going to happen you know, she mightn't be feeling well that sort of thing I'm not 100% as you can probably notice in my voice a bit croaky in the old voice uh, still trying to get over this goddamn flu it's really knocking us for a six my voice goes really low when I've got a cold um, it clears up when it's not so anyway, um, hope you've enjoyed tagging along with me on this one, everyone. Um, and, and if you have enjoyed tagging along, don't forget to smash that like button. And while you're smashing like buttons and all that sort of thing, if you consider subscribing, don't forget to hit the notification bell. Subscribing's not compulsory, but if you don't subscribe, you're not going to know when we put a new video out. So till next time, everyone, happy dumpster diving, happy scrapping, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheerio.